into the 901. The NBA handed down an eight game suspension for John ja Moran for conduct detrimental to the team after they say he flashed a gun while intoxicated in a nightclub on Instagram Live. The suspension is retroactive to when Morant left the team on March 5th, so he is eligible to return this coming Monday against the Mavs. ESPN reports Morant had not been playing basketball while at a counseling center in Florida, so his ramp up period is expected to extend past Monday, but he'll return shortly thereafter. Meanwhile, the Grizzlies are in Miami tonight to take on the Heat. Tigers men's basketball is off to Columbus, Ohio for the NCAA tournament. They had a huge turnout at South Campus for their sendoff. Memphis takes on FAU in the round of 64 Friday at 8.20 p.m. Well, Memphis women's basketball doesn't have to go anywhere. They host Jackson State in the first round of the WNIT Thursday night, the program's first postseason game since 2016. Our administration did us phenomenal job in making sure that we host it in this first round. So not only do we get to continue our season, but we get to do it in front of all the people who have supported us all year long. Well, Tigers football held their annual luncheon ahead of spring ball kicking off Sunday. Ryan Silverfield said he's ready to get to work. Obviously, the most fun will occur when we're in between those white lines and actually getting to practice and, and do uh, meetings within our time frame. But uh, really excited about this group. It's been fun. Obviously, the addition of some new coaches has been great, getting everybody acclimated the way we do things, and, and very excited uh, for this spring and moving forward. With your 901, I'm Clayton Collier.